So this is the Creality CR10 V3. So I've got all these other CR10s, 3D printers at home. I've got the CR10S Pro and the CR10S Pro V2. And I tell you, I can't stand the BL Touch or any sensor, even on the CR10S Pro. That contactless sensor. I fucking hate them. So when I found out that you can get a newer modelled CR10, the version 3 that you're looking at right now, it has direct drive. This is all standard. Direct drive. Filament sensor. And guess what? See that switch down there? That's the Z switch or the limit switch instead of having a stupid sensor on it. Which I love. At the moment it's just I leveled the bed and it's just printing that dog that's on the SD card. There's a cat, a dog and a pig. <laughs> But look, even that fan on the CR10S Pro is so shit. But this one on the CR10 version 3, this fan looks so much better. Held in by two bolts. If you knock it, it's not going to snap off. So, this I reckon is completely pointless. But it comes with it, so you might as well put those extra things on. Couldn't see how that would make any difference to printing. Like what, you're cutting steel or something? Like it's melting plastic, as if you need reinforcements. Those two bolts down there, socket head cap screws that they use, that's enough. Unless you like live in a country where there's earthquakes, and you don't want your prints to look horrible when there's an earthquake. <laughs> but I can't see how that's going to make a difference. But yeah, this is a, such an awesome machine. I'm so happy with this one. I love it how it's got the filament sense uh, detection thing and this this setup is really cool direct drive they do something about this goddamn cable man look at it just flops down and hits the bed to print something to hold that up a bracket or something bolted onto it look and they even give you this is all stock. They even give you the option to put that back on, up on there, at the back there. Up there. And then you can put on the, um, the uh, ext extruder over there. So you don't have to have direct drive if you don't want. Don't know why you wouldn't want it, but look at that big yeah. ass gear in there. Reduction gear. I love the blue. All that blue looks cool, doesn't it? It's funny that the version 3 has the silent boards and a direct drive and all that, and it looks nice. But then look at this. Look at the interface. It's not touchscreen. It's 
got the wheel thing. And it's from like back in the, you know, in the three days. Do you think they, they would have had some touchscreen thing? Not that that really matters, but they've kept the old interface, which is okay. You don't need all this touchscreen bullshit. All that matters is what finishes there and how it looks. That's all that, all that matters. I've got the Ender 5 over here. This is the Ender 5 Pro. Put a different bed on, a different thing on there. Comes with that step stock. Ender 5 Pro. And that. And then I got this a couple days ago. Ender 5 Plus. Took off the plastic one and put this on there. Before I even turn the machine on for the first time, I changed that to the aluminium one. Fuck that plastic shit. I had one of them plastic things on an Ender 3 about a year ago. And I literally, instead of pushing it up that way to feed the filament in or out by hand, I pushed it that way down accidentally, not thinking. And the thing snapped. I didn't even apply that much pressure. The plastic thing just broke. This was like a year ago. That's how shit the design is. People are saying they break them without even doing that. So, if you've got a plastic one, definitely spend 16 bucks and get a metal one. But even this Ender 5 Plus has one of these BL touches, which... Like I tell you, I don't like. But with a bed this big, it's sort of necessary. This, is, this bed's a lot bigger than the CR10. Look how big the bed is. Look, there's my hand. <laughs> it's pretty big. And look at this. This came out ages ago. And this has got touch screen. So I don't know why I didn't put that control box on the newer model, version 3. <clears throat> yeah, it feels alright. Probably should have checked all the, the wheels on it to see if they weren't over tightened. I'm pretty sure they weren't loose, but. But you know what? Who gives a fuck? Because these wheels, you can get a bag of 20 for like $10. And they're so easy to change. You just see that nut up the top there and there's a bolt. You just undo the bolt and nut, take a wheel off, put a new one on. The wheels come with bearings in them. And just put it back on. You can literally change all those wheels in like 10 minutes. You just flip the printer on its side. It's so easy. So I wouldn't really worry about them being over tightened. Unless you've got like bumps in the rails or something and the bumps are coming out on your print but to change get parts for these 3D printers so cheap Another thing I like about it is save 
you, you got this printer for like say what four or five years you've made like a whole room full of stuff like you've printed so much crap and something like the electronics fail well all you have to do is tip that over undo those bolts there and buy another part put it on or we'll see what's wrong and maybe fix it yourself so easy to repair having the box like that so so easy the CR10S Pro you have to tip the printer over undo the shit underneath fiddle around find out what what's what with that you can just unplug that box take it up to like a workbench up there and you got all your tools it's so easy it's easy to move around I hope they keep this CR10 design like this forever because I'll always buy them having a box like that and if you want that to be one whole unit you just 3d print a base make some longer legs stick that underneath you can turn it into a one unit thing if you really want to I wonder how much clearance they've left for that. It's probably a 2 mil gap or something because the filament's 1.75. Looks to be about 2 mil. Doesn't that look awesome? Direct drive extrusion. So cool. This Creality company is killing it, man. Absolutely killing it with their machines. I don't think you could even say any of their machines are shit. Besides maybe the CR-10S. Pro, it's a bit of an issue, gun. That fucking BL touch thing. Well, no, the, the uh, contactless sensor. So this is a any cubic viper. Now this is a awesome three D printer. It's got touch screen, big colourful screen. Uh, this is a really good bed, easy to get crap off, and also, I don't know how they do it, but that nozzle touches the bed, and that's the sensor, so it's pretty fucking amazing how they've done that, and you know what, this thing levels the bed perfectly, like you cannot level the bed as good as this thing can do it. Like, this thing levels the bed so well. Out of all the 3D printers I own, which is a few, I own about 11 of them, this is the best 3D printer. I reckon. Look at that beefy extruder. Now, if you're going to buy a 3D printer and you want to spend a little bit more money than what an end of three costs, you buy this. Any cubic Viper. V Y P E R.
And look, I made a shelf up here. Look at all the other filaments I have. There's a shelf. 3D printed them brackets. Got some wood from Bunnings. Uh, three of these shelves, one there with filament, another one in the factory over there, because we own two factories here. And, oh look, a burnout machine. Armor, uh, what's it called? Armor felony. And look, I've only used it three times. Here's the front tires. And look, it's a full drive, and look at the rear ones. Tires are fucked. That one's even worse, completely gone. But this car is so fun to drive. There's a Creighton. Man, this machine is really quiet. The only thing I can hear is the fan in that box there. Can you hear anything on this? 